everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review episode 14 of Boku no Hero Academia Season 3. Oh, and Deku did the, you know, the using his legs at the end of the episode. I was like, yeah, that's a good way you're doing it. The only problem I have with that is, think about it. So if he's stressed his arms out enough where his costume now has to have braces where it's not so difficult on him, Think about his legs, because if he starts using them a lot, and then, you know, let's say he's in a very stressful situation, and then he has to use his legs a lot, now he's going to be in danger of breaking his legs! Probably! <laughs> he's just going to break his whole body by the end of this. <laughs> but anyway, so this episode focused on them working on their quirks and trying to make up ultimate moves. And I'm like, yay! We get to learn some ultimate moves! And dude, freaking Tokuyami is like the dark shadow, like uncasing his body. I was like, that's cool! That's really cool! <laughs> and um, Bakugo's even was interesting too, just making like a little, like a kind of laser beam kind of thing going on there. We didn't really get to see what Todoroki's was. I'm assuming it has to do with, you know, using both his quirks at the same time. Um, we got to not really see Erotica's. Um, we got to see a few other people's. And I was like, this is cool. This is fun. This is a fun episode. <laughs> Definitely the best part of the episode, though, is when they go to talk to the guy who, like, uh, makes their costumes and stuff and can, like, tweak some stuff about them. And, um... Mei Hatsume is there. <laughs> that whole scene was hilarious. <laughs> Especially the scenes where, like, you know, she's like, like, when she landed on Deku and Erotica's face, she was like, so unhappy, probably, <laughs> about that. And, um, when, like, she was, like, you know, touching Deku and everything, it was just like, this is funny, and please stop, like, <laughs> it was so funny. But anyway, so, you know, like, some people get their, uh, costumes modified and everything to you know, help with this uh, ultimate move creating so they can get their provisional licenses. And I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> and All Might was there at some points to, you know, kind of give them uh, <laughs> advice. And <laughs> you saw in his back pocket this book that said, like, you know, training or teaching for dummies or whatever. And I'm just like, <laughs> Oh, All Might, you're great. <laughs> but anyway, so this pretty much this episode in a nutshell, to be honest, there wasn't really too much to it. But it's like, we gotta have these chill down episodes before we get into the next arc, whatever the next arc is. Because I'm assuming, you know, we're gonna spend maybe two-ish episodes on getting the provisional licenses. Maybe three, maybe half of three. I'm not sure how that's gonna go because... With the new opening, we see some new characters, and I'm assuming some new villains, possibly, because I think I know what this next arc's supposed to be, but I'm not 100% sure, to be honest, because people have, like, said things to me, and I'm like, okay, so that's supposed to be a thing, and I know this girl's supposed to be a thing that my friend said reminded me of one of our other friends, so I'm just like, okay... I'll have to judge that for myself, but anyway, um, that's gonna be a thing, but I'm excited to see these provisional license exams, because I'm like, hmm, let's hope they all pass, because I'm like, please, please pass, because I will cry if you don't, um, also the end of the episode, when Deku, like, saved All Night, I'm like, he's being a hero to his hero, <laughs> I mean, he wasn't in peril danger, but you know, the whole rock thing falling, you know, him probably getting knocked out was a thing, but I'm just like, they I'm getting emotional. Stop it. <laughs> oh, man. But overall, it's a very good episode, you know? Book of Hero always has good episodes, even if they're episodes like this, where it's just kind of a chillish down episode, where they're just, you know, focusing on their quirks and stuff like that, and there's not really, you know, a villain attacking 24-7. <laughs> so there's that. But overall, I did enjoy this episode. Um... <laughs> I can't get over that scene with Mei Hatsume, though. It's too good. It seems so, so freaking hilarious. But I kind of wish we had seen more of Todoroki's training, because Todoroki's my boy. But I just, I think, honestly, the most interesting part was definitely Tokoyami, because I'm just like, Dark Shadow over Gaze, that's so freaking cool, man. I love that. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much all I got to say about this episode. What do you guys think of this episode? What do you think is going to happen next? And I'll see you guys in whatever I review next. Bye!